is YouTube, it's your boy Legendary EA, and we are back here for another video, and I'm back on the rebuilds, man, I've been lacking so much, but we're on break now, finally got some time on me, and we're gonna be grinding, man, I'm, I'm really trying to build the channel back up to what it used to be, even though 2K is kinda dead, so this week, expect the rebuilds, the Spurs series, and some NBA videos and good stuff like that, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to upload every single day other than Christmas, but hopefully I can do that regardless, we're gonna be trying to go daily regardless, but yeah, we're coming back with the Atlanta Hawks. We got to get Trey Young some help, bro. I'm, I really feel bad for Trey Young. This season, your boy is going off 29. Like, he's playing so good. But they only got six wins. Now, currently, they are projected to be having the second overall pick. And I'll say right now, I, I would not be getting Cole Anthony. Uh, John Collins was suspended for most of the year. Trey Young has, has obviously been playing good. DeAndre Hunter has been playing very, very good as well. Cam Reddish has been very mid and inconsistent, but I really want to get us to center, so I got to be honest. If I do draft somebody early, I'm trying to go after James Wiseman. Hell, I'll take Anthony Edwards, LaMelo, probably LaMelo over Anthony, to be honest, because I can still play LaMelo as shooting guard. Or, girls, we got a lot of, we got a lot of moves to make with this team, man. Um, obviously, I want to get us to being good. We're nowhere near that. So, we're going to keep this video as realistic as possible. Of course, I still want to have fun and make some moves, but I'm not trying to be, like, crazy with it and just make no trades. But, yeah, let's get straight into this rebuild. I'm simming to the end of this first season. The goal is to get these guys a championship. It's going to be very, very hard, but I'm going to see what we're going to do, man. We got to build around Trey Young, and he likes to run a pick and roll a lot, but he's also good in space. So, obviously, I, I, I like to get James Wiseman, but also just some better players in and a good bench. That's that's what we really need. And I'm not going to lie. Lloyd Pierce might not make it through this series. But we're going to see. But other than that, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And at this point, winning games is just not going to help us. To be real with you. And at the end of season no, number one, Giannis is the MVP. Unfortunately, we won 22 more games than at the beginning. Which freaking sucks. Because our draft pick probably ain't going to be anything special. Uh, Bam is most of player, which he's actually been really, really good. But I would probably give it to Devontae Graham. But, you know, Bam is a pretty good choice. All right, so Trey Young makes the All-NBA third team. Man was insane this season. We get DeAndre Hunter on our rookie first team. And that's all we got. That's all we got, man. Of course, we didn't make no playoffs. Um, but where did we finish? Dang. We was out here really winning games, dog. All right, they got us to pick number four. Hopefully, a lot of y'all are just good. And we get so much better. Like, look. I, I'm, I'm still going to try to work the thing out with, with Cam Reddish. Like, I really believed Cam Reddish was going to be so good coming out of Duke, man. I really, really thought that. I'm going to try to help him, send him to that untapped potential camp, do all that stuff. But, you know, uh, I, I got to get a shooting guard. Like, I got I got to get a shooting guard or a center. The center is the biggest thing. Like, if we can get James Wiseman, that would help us out so much. But we'll figure it out. We'll definitely figure it out. Uh, DeAndre Hunter has been playing really, really well, so he's going to be starting. The Lakers won the championship. Good for them. And let's get into this offseason, man, so now your boy can shine. Like I said, Lloyd Pierce, he might not make it. Like, <laughs> he might not make it. All right, let's get into it. League meetings, what are we doing? We're leaving the NBA alone, just how I like it. Draft lottery, which is huge for us. Come on. All right, so they got us projected at number four. Please. We get number seven. Lloyd, you're fired. But dang, bro. Really? Really? Man, that, that would have been so much better if we got something else. Yeah, we're some clean house, to be honest. But y'all you you don't get how much better it would have been. We had a higher draft pick. All right, but let's get into this, man. There's no need for all that. Sim to my draft pick. I'll see if I can...
guard and a backup shooting guard. And all right, we we need backups everywhere other than small forward, because I'm gonna let Cam Reddish run that spot. And I guess we can go after some veterans with this one. So I, I don't think Goran Dragic. I mean, he's not a, he's not insane, but like he's still a really nice backup to have. Also, go after. Well, he's restricted, so I hope he comes back. Power forwards. I mean, J Jabari is solid. Get him for, for, for the low. I'm down. All right, so wait on Jabari. And we got a backup center already. All right, so right now it's saying that we can pick up Drummond and Gorn. I mean, that would be a major dub on our part. So I guess for right now, let, let's just get those guys. But getting Drummond is still huge, man. We got him. We we, we freed him from being stuck in Detroit. So that's your backup point guard to have. So we need a backup shooting guard. But hopefully DeAndre comes back. So a backup power forward. That's what we're looking for right now. Jabari, what's good? Got to give you less money, bro. Got to. And if you're not feeling us, I mean, Jermichael Green, maybe? And we'll just match whatever he gets because he's not, he's not going to get a crazy good deal. And I guess other than that, we can surround this team with some more veteran players. Maybe a guy that we, we can hide in the G League. Who can, we, who can we lock in the G League for a few seasons? All right, Cassius Stanley. Bro, really? Boy is wildin'. Alright. Get the veterans. Bring back Vince Carter. Come on, Cassius. Be smart. Jabari went to the Wizards. Just...
Bench don't need to be playing like that. We'll play through our star. Y'all need to get some rebounds, if possible. <laughs> And that's how we're playing it. That's how we're playing it. Where they got us ranked as, as, as far as the power rankings go. Number 11. Let's see how good this team can do, man. I'm, I'm really trying to see what that backcourt of LaMelo and Trey Young is like. Like, in like in my head, it sounds really nasty, though. And at the end of season number two, we are so much better. 52 wins, 30 losses. That's a huge... In, that is like... That is a, that is a huge... Increase in wins. LaMelo does win rookie of the year. It's about 15 and a half points, 4.3 rebounds, 9.7 assists, 1.9 steals. All shooting 46% from the field and 35 from the three. Cole Anthony, six man of the year because of, you know, De'Aaron Fox. Uh, Kawhi's defense player of the year. Yeah. <laughs> all that stuff I don't really care about. Um, Trey Young, did he make an all-NBA team? Oh, he's all-NBA second team not a, at a 95. Where, where's Luke at? Because Luke got to be like a 96, 98. Sheesh. Sheesh. I'm telling you, bro, those two are so cold. Both of them. Uh, let's see. LaMelo obviously is all rookie first team. Onyeka didn't make it, uh, but I'm not really, like, shocked. What kind of what kind of stats did he put up? Or we redshirted him, huh? Yeah, we redshirted him because of uh, Jones. But we're going to be good next year. I mean... Cash is up, to, is up to a 75, 77 right now. Onyeka's up to an 81. Okay. Okay. Maybe next season he, he gets some minutes. Regardless, he signed on to a, for a, a long contract. This year we finished as a second seed. Let's see how we do in the playoffs, though, man. Let's see how we do in the playoffs. Regardless, help is on the way. We're going to just we're, we're gonna be adding more pieces. Like, I like the Cam Reddish thing. Hopefully he continues to ball out. As a matter of fact, before I do anything, I know I paused it in the middle of a series. Here are the stats for the regular season. 28 points a game. Everyone contributed. Cam was pretty bad for us, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, not so good for us. <laughs> we're still working on that, though. Like, we're still definitely working on that. We just got to find a way to help, help that man out. But we better not get upset by the, you know, all right, good. We beat the Celtics. Next, we got the 76ers, who were in the finals last season. And are they getting swept? Gentlemen sweep. All right, we're in the Eastern Conference Finals versus the Nets. Come on, y'all. We're the second seed, in the, and they're the fourth. Okay, so building, so rebuilding the Hawks ain't too hard. Yo, Trey Young, having Trey Young is such a huge advantage. But, you know, the Rockets, 2K love the Rockets. And I'm a Rockets fan, and, and I'm saying that. And we get them boys up out of here with that sweep. How we struggle in our own conference more than, than the NBA Finals. Regardless, man, Trey Young is Finals MVP. 31 points. 8 assists. Man is cold. Honestly, this rebuild didn't, it didn't take all that long. But I love the team that we actually built. We had Trey Young, LaMelo, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Drummond. The team was insane, man. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Make sure you go like it up and subscribe. Obviously, we had Onyeka, Onkongu, Goran Dragic, Jamaica Green, DeAndre, whatever, <laughs> Damon Jones, Cam Reddish, Lance Stevenson, Charles Brown Jr. Don't know who that is. Cassius Stanley, Vince Carter, VC gets a championship. Regardless, man, let me know how you guys feel about this video. Make sure you go and like it up and subscribe. A really, really quick rebuild for y'all's head. Let me know who we should do this with, with next, man. Of course... I expected this rebuild to take a little bit longer. We run it, we won it in two seasons after we picked up Lamelo, and we got a brand new center and a new bench. Like that helped us out a lot, man. Our bench was actually insane. Like it was really, really, really good. The depth was there. We got a brand new coach, and we just won it all. Regardless, man, let me know what you guys think about Trey Young. I think him and Luca are the future of the league. Those two are going to be having battles for the longest. I, I see them as kind of being, as kind of having a Magic Bird kind of rivalry. In the future, because even though they don't hate each other, Magic and Bird also didn't. They were traded for one another. Both, same draft class. Both of them are extremely good from the jump. They're going to have, both of them are going to really have a good career. And who do you think won that trade? Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, I can't really say for sure. Because I don't think Luka is as successful 
on the Hawks, and I don't think Trey Young is is as is is as successful in Dallas. Both of them landed in the perfect situation. But anyways, <laughs> let me get back on topic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go and like it up and subscribe. Share the videos, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I am out. Peace, y'all.